before I put it in, I smack a ass. Smack it. Pull out my feezy, hit record, turn on the flash. Huh? We gon' make a movie like Ray J and Kim Kardashian. Bitch. Put her on the block list, that's if that pussy trash. I'm Polo G, stressin' who? It ain't a bitch that I can't smash. Probably fucked her too, it ain't a bitch that I ain't had. Flex. Man, this shit is nothing, you the type to hit and brag. Run your mouth too much, I'm starting to think you niggas facts. Hard for me to slow down, I got used to living fast. Bitch, I love the gang, gon' brand the yard, get them boys my last. What's going on guys, it's your boy Postin, back with another banger video, and today, as you read by the title, we got something kind of different, something I usually would not upload, but I've been getting asked a lot about it, so I figured why not drop the information for you guys. Lots of people have uploaded videos on this, but as you tell by the title, this is how to play unlimited My Player Nation games. Pray to God I don't get fucking banned for this, you know, like badge plug last year with all them glitches, but you, I, it will be fine. So, first of all, what you guys are wanna, we're gonna wanna do is, uh, this is best for brand new players because you're gonna wanna uh, have one year on your contract. You're gonna have to be at the very end of your contract to do this. So you're gonna wanna either play or sim all the way in, or all the way to the end of the season, to where you get to this screen right here. We have every game played and it just says complete season. And what you're gonna wanna do here, I can't really show you this part, but lots of people probably know how to do your like apply save data in your settings um so what you want to do is when you get to right here at the end of the season you're gonna want to go i don't know if you have to do this but this is just what i do to save it i go just quit and go to the main menu like that and when you are on the when you after you quit you're gonna want to close you're gonna want to click on um download to online or upload to online storage and after you do that uh you're gonna want to like you, you can that's like you want to upload the first three like the first it'll say um user data saved something and uh my player or my career is like in a number by it you're gonna like they'll all have like a time right by them and say like when they were saved and you're gonna want to pick the ones with the, the three saved the three same time and you're gonna want to upload those to your online storage and once you do that you can up or you can open 2k again and you'll be fine so when you go to the you'll be opening it back and you'll be at the end of the season like so you're gonna want to just end current season and like i said you're gonna be on the last uh you're gonna want to have to be on the last year of your my career because like or if not your my career sorry of your last contract last year of your contract god i'm fucking stupid you're gonna want to be on the very last year of your contract so you can switch teams because that's basically what this does you're gonna just keep loading back at the end of the year and you're gonna be able to switch this to as many teams as you want to and play a my player nation game on every team and by the time you've played one on every team there'll be more on the teams you've already played on so I, I thought they were gonna end like the my player nation was gonna stop because i was i thought it went like along with the real the games in real life and obviously because of coronavirus we don't have any games in real life but it's still here you can still play as many games as you need to you can play you can play a game for every team like i said this is great so this shit takes forever to load every time but after this it'll say entering whatever season and you're gonna want to just say i'll cut to all right so now sorry that just, shit just took forever to load it's gonna bring you to right here welcome to the season and it's, you're not gonna want to press resign with current team you're just gonna go enter free agency this doesn't matter it'll bring you to free agency whatever year it is open now this i just had a one-year contract so here we are and you're gonna want to sign to a, like i was just on the Cavs, so i'm not gonna sign to the Cavs. you're gonna want to assign to a team that you haven't been on yet and i've been doing this a lot so i don't know what teams i've done like i haven't done it yet, yet with so i'm just gonna try to guess and hope that i can show you guys that it works so uh what i like to do is i do one year just in case i fuck up and don't save the data but uh i which which never really happens i've had it forever and that's how i grinded out my speed boosting paint beast where it's at and usually with these teams they offer you like top contracts like the 475 you can negotiate them up to 800 and the minutes don't matter because in my player nation you start no matter what so 800 they're gonna decline like they're gonna say we can't do that and you just want to keep counter offering it and eventually they'll say this is totally doable or something along them lines and now you just wait and you see you have a my player nation game just like that you can sign like you can just play, sorry i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about you can sign you can play that game 
So you're going to load into your my career or to the your my player nation game and basically you're just gonna play however you play to get whatever badge you want. Like for if you're a playmaker you wanna throw lobs or like for playmaking badges, um for shooting I'll show you what I do for shooting when we get the ball. For defense, honestly, I don't really think there's a method. You just kinda gotta play defense. That's basically all you can do. I hope for the best. And you go down, call for an isolation, which is L1 and X. You go to the corner, click L1, R1, positional play calling, and hold circle for either the for the um so now the shooting guard will pull the or will come set a screen for you. And as you saw right there, the your defender will back up all the way. If you're a shoot if you are the shooting guard, you can call for the point guard. I think it works if you call for the uh small forward as well. But I'm just gonna show you guys that this works. Eventually, they will start double teaming you, and that's when you go for playmaking badges, or you just find your own way to get open. Sometimes it doesn't. They don't. Yes, yeah. See, I'm, they're already fucking double teaming. They're just being weird. I don't know why. But usually, like, see, and this is just an easy way to get them. I easily like if they're double teaming. Obviously, someone's open. You just gotta look at the floor and icon pass. And they're like sometimes you can score up to 30 points and they won't double team. Now they're double teaming off rip. I don't know why, but I think that's just because I've been fucking them all up every time I come in here. But uh, it's just easy. Like that's the easiest way to get shooting and playmaking, to be honest. Because if you can go for your shooting, if they double team, like I said, see they're double teaming again. Oh yeah, see I fucked up. But like you see how easy it is. To, there's always gonna be an open man, and that's just that's just kind of an extra. I'm just trying to show you how to do the glitch. It's not. This isn't a video about methods. This is just how personally I get my shooting badges. I'm on a, a demigod build. I'm not gonna lie. See they just did it to me. Like I, the fucking computers just did the corner glitch to my teammate. Like, yeah, I usually use my meter when I'm playing, but I'm just gonna, uh, when I'm playing my career, I use, obviously, no meter online, but I'm going to just kind of go through, I'm not, I'm just gonna skip to the end of this game, show you me getting the rep, and I'm gonna show you guys how to play the next my career game, and just how to keep going on, so we'll see you there. Alright, sorry, I didn't want to have you guys sit here for fucking 30 minutes while I went through and played that entire game, you see, in the very end, I didn't shoot too great, I had 55 points, 6 assists, and a steal, but... This is just me showing you that you can get the rep and all that. I got, I didn't get too much. I almost filled my bar up. I didn't get shit for finishing, but I got 19,000 for shooting, and it's two times my badge points. I got a whole shooting badge and a half. I got some for playmaking, and a little bit for defense. I was just focused on shooting though. I was just doing the corner shit all game. That's why I was 17 for 24. I was missing a lot for some reason, but you're just gonna want to advance and just load out of here. Wait for it to. Go back to your, like, wait for it to load back in here. I'm going to show you right here when it loads out that I can't play it. Like, I'm not just fucking faking it. This is a real glitch. Uh, like, you can really play as many my player. And it, like, obviously there's a, there's a time, like, see time until next game right there. I'm, you're not going to be able to play it. You'll be able to play, like, 20 or something. Like, you'll be able to play fucking, you can't play with every team because teams match up against each other. And if you already played that game, you can't. So really, you can play like 16 games of My Player Nation, but by the time you've done that, the other ones will like well, the time until will be gone and they'll be unlocked again. So you can just keep going through and keep playing. So you, uh, you see, I got a shooting badge right here. This build is I'll, I'm gonna release this build in a bit. This is this is fucking goaded. People have it. It's not like it's nothing new like my speed boosting pain beast. It's just a really fucking overpowered, nice ass build. But uh, yet again, I can't show you like the like actual clip of me going into the apply save that I do not have um, I don't have an Elgato or nothing I can only record from my PlayStation and the PlayStation doesn't let you record all that shit so what you're I, I'm gonna try to get screenshots and I'll just I'll pop if I don't get a screenshot I'll put a picture up there I will show you what I'm talking about uh, so you're gonna want to go back to apply save data and you're gonna want to go instead of going to the system storage you're gonna want to go to online storage and you're gonna want to download two system storage and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take those three uh like files that you earlier you uploaded that i had the three ones with the same exact time on them the saved whatever the saved data player description and my player or my career and then the number or whatever and you're gonna take those three and you're gonna download them back to your online storage and uh, i'll get back to you when i do that i'm gonna show you what that looks like all right, so now after you had uh, re-downloaded the apply save data that you saved earlier, it'll bring you back to like it'll it might say that like some um, some builds you have are lower overalls than they are, but that's just because like that's just if you've been doing this, I guess. So like this one's really an 89. This is the one we've been doing the glitch on. 
this one's fuck you. like they're just all this is a 98 this is a 96 they're all higher overall so this is just just letting you know that it does not ruin your players this is just what it's saying because that's what they were when i saved them for the glitch so open up my play shot and i'll show you it says 89 right there but once i load back in you'll see that it's really or it said, sorry it said 84 right there but i load back in you see it's really an 89 it does not affect my build whatsoever i'll be making a lot of videos on this build very soon we used to just a little sneak peek sneak peek on the stats right there you see after i have uh re-downloaded the save data it put me right back here at the end of the season so that's when you just go and repeat the process complete season like go sim through the playoffs this is easiest if your team makes the playoffs you're going to have like i recommend going to a shitty team because if your team makes the playoffs, you're going to have to play the playoffs. There's no simming through it. But you can still, I believe, uh, like, like uh, apply save data on the very last game of the playoffs. And then just repeat the process that way. But like I said, I prefer... It's a lot easier if you went to a shitty team and you wouldn't just don't have to deal with the playoffs. Yet again, I'm sorry if you can hear my fucking PlayStation screaming in the background. It just, I've been on this bitch all day trying to hit that Elite 2. And this shit's getting loud as hell. Your boy's a 90... 2.8 percent i believe and this shit always takes forever but i'll get back to you guys when we are at the like uh, signing part and you see right here it loads us back to the like right where i had us last time welcome to the end welcome to the 2021 season you're gonna want to enter free agency and you're just gonna want to repeat the steps that doesn't matter free agency 2020 open now see it went right back to the last season and you just keep repeating it uh you're gonna want to sign with a team obviously that you haven't played with yet and I don't believe that I've played, I, I've played with a lot of these, so I don't want to pick a team that I've already played with, because then it won't let me play that game. So, I think, I don't think I've played with OKC, I hope not, or else I'm going to have to do this again. But, like I, if you, if the team offers you 475, you can get 800 out of them. If they offer you 400, I think you could probably work your way up to like 4, or 760, something like that. Uh, see, they're gonna, they're always gonna decline it the first time. You just counter offer and it's like send them the same exact offer. Uh, right there, they try to counter offer again. And if they, like, if they say, like, if you gotta read it, if he sends you like a message and it says it's not gonna work, he starts getting mad. Like, say, sometimes we'll say you're not a max contract player, this is our last offer. That means you're going too high and you just gotta take it down a little bit or accept their offer. So, right there, I got 760 out of them. And you see right here, my player nation. A brand new My Player Nation game. I can play it all over again. I can finish this game and just do the same process and keep up, uh, keep downloading the save data I uploaded earlier, and it'll just keep bringing. It's like uh, if any of you guys did the 2K19 VC glitch where you could just where you had all your endorsements and you can apply save data and you can just re-download them three times and you can just keep getting all your endorsements over and over again. It's kind of the same basic premise of that. You can just keep going over and over and play as many My Player Nation games as you want. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, my Twitter got suspended for the third time. So uh, I made another one just to kind of promote my videos and all that stuff. So I can upload pictures to make my thumbnails, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll put it up on the screen right here. Like I said earlier, this is not going to turn into a glitch in Jumpshot channel. This is just uh, a question I've been asked a lot how to do this and i tried to explain my best hopefully i did a good job you guys let me know in the comment section below make sure you turn on noties like comment subscribe if you haven't yet like i said follow me on twitter as always i hope you guys have a great day this has been your boy posting and i'm out